Now I want to make sure to create an operation that taps these four holes. So we need to start off with a drilling operation. Tool will be a drill, a tab drill that's small enough for the M4 holes that we have there. So I'm gonna choose just drill by unselecting these other ones here. Filtering out here, four to four. And actually because it's a tap, I need to actually make it a three to four millimeter range because let's take a look at what I got. You can see here under the metric sizes, if I go far enough down, For aluminum, I have a three millimeter drill. I also have a 3.4. And for my machiner's handbook, I'm gonna go ahead and use the suggested, suggested tab drill size at 3.4. And in this case, uh, the feeds and speeds are calculated. I just need to move to my geometry. I'll pick those four holes. And look at this, as I pick them, you'll see a tool path show up. And I pick all four, you'll see it kind of reorients the the order in which those are going to be fed. So it's going to go in here initially, go here, here, and then finally retract out of this last hole. I want to make sure that I also choose the right height for my uh, drill through. These holes are quite important, but they don't go through the whole part. So I want to make sure to avoid this whole drill tip through bolt bottom plane here. We don't need to worry about that. So that's pretty much it for this. I'll hit OK. And there's that toolpath. And finally, we'll just follow it up with a tapped hole. So I'll click on drilling again. I'll choose the appropriate tool. We'll filter out right-handed taps. In this case, I'll make sure to choose leave the range what it was, hit OK. Under the ISO sizes, we have M4 with a 0.7 pitch, exactly what I want. So I'll go ahead and double click that. The geometry is going to be those four holes. And that's pretty much it. You hit OK and you're done. So let's just validate our entire part for fun. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and choose all of these toolpaths in the first setup. I'll right click, I'll simulate it. Again, I'm gonna hide the stock body or the uh, final cut body from our tree here. So we're just looking at the stock under the simulation dialog box here and we'll make sure that we're just showing the tail of our toolpath to keep it clean. We'll play this. And as you're, these can take a while, so just go ahead and fast forward the operations. And that's the end of the first setup. So I'll close that. Now I'll go to this one and just go ahead and generate those toolpaths and then simulate them. So we'll flip this around. Now one thing you'll notice though is in this second setup, you don't see the results of the first setup. Okay, that's a limitation to the Fusion Cam environment. So we'll go ahead and play on this one. You can see the tap drill doing its thing. And then finally the tap going through and finishing out that th threaded hole. And that's it. All right, let's wrap this up. I'm gonna show my final cut body one more time and make a few last points. Now we covered a lot of material here. We made setups and we made tool paths. If you weren't able to keep up with us the entire time, no worries. What I'd like you to do is to take a look at the two setup folders that were already created and available to you when you open up this part. Reverse engineer those tool paths and make sure you understand what's going on there. Don't hesitate to right click and edit one of those tool paths and start to play with some of the settings here. You can't break it. Just experiment with this Hit OK and see what those effects were. Also, I highly recommend that you get comfortable with toggling between the two views between your final cut part and your stock body. This is a very important skill that you need to develop with Fusion 360. So for example here, the stock body, I have these oversized holes here. And in my final cut, I have these bored out holes. I challenge you to use the 2D and 3D toolpaths to finalize this part by creating these finalized machine surfaces. I also challenge you to create this cutout to create this clamp effect. All right, good luck with that, guys.